uh, state and pru or state, pardon me, the upper and bound and lower bound rules for polynomials. Uh, this is a way of eliminating candidates of uh, rational roots that, or roots period, uh, that would be uh, when attempting to factor a polynomial. Uh, if we're attempting a um, positive root, so we have x minus c times q of x plus r, and the remainder r is positive and all the coefficients of q are non-negative, then that means that c is an upper bound for the roots of f. In other words, f has no roots that are bigger than c. If c is negative and the coefficients of q of x and r alternate in sign, then c is a lower bound for the roots of f. Uh, to illustrate what this means uh, practically, uh, let's do an example. So let's, let's take f of x equals 5x squared, or 5x cubed, plus 24x squared, plus 25x minus 6, just to make up an example. And let's perform synthetic division to see what happens if, when I divide by x minus 1. Then I'll have some quotient plus some remainder. So doing synthetic division, so let me do the synthetic division in blue. Doing synthetic division, 5, 24, 25, negative 6. I get 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 24 plus 5 is 29. 29 plus 1 is 29. 25 plus 29 is 54. 54 times 1 is 54. And then 54 minus 6 is 48. So the quotient is 5x squared plus 29x plus 54 and the quotient is, or sorry, the remainder is 48. So 1 is not a root. However, we can definitively say that no matter what, uh, nothing bigger than 1 can be a root either. Now why is that? This first term, x minus 1, this is greater than 0 if x is, or is, if x is greater than or equal to 0, or greater than or equal to 1. So x minus 1, that is definitely not negative if x is greater than or equal to 1. Plug in something bigger than 1, you get something that's not negative. This next part, 5x squared plus 29x plus 54, 5, 29, and 54 are positive. And so if x is positive, everything inside the, the second set of parentheses would be positive. And so this must be positive if x is greater than or equal to 1. And certainly 48 is greater than 0, no matter what. And so therefore, we know that f of x must be greater than or equal to 0 if x is greater than or equal to 1. Because it's a positive, non-negative number times a positive number plus another positive number, no matter what, that is po um, going to be positive. So I shouldn't have put the equals there. It must be positive. Okay. And so therefore, that means if we're looking for roots when doing synthetic division, there's no need to attempt something that is a, root, a potential root that's bigger than 1. Because according to this rule, we're guaranteed that the um, anything bigger than 1 cannot be a root. So f has no roots bigger than 1. 1 is an upper bound, and so we must try numbers less than 1 when attempting to find a positive root. Uh, the rule for negative numbers is similar, except that the bottom row alternates in sign positive and negative, and 0 counts as either positive or negative for the purposes of alternating sign. So that is the um, upper and lower bound uh, rules, and the part in down here at the bottom is a not necessarily a proof, but the rationale for why this uh, rule, these, this, at least the first rule is correct. The second rule is similar.